let's let's start for the development of phase here so the development of phase now i need you guys to focus on this diagram so we have came across this diagram already right so in this diagram this is one is and anybody can guess this what is this this bulge this bulge this bulge this bulge is called head bulge okay head bulge this is was cardiac bulge this one is limb bud correct so the development of phase should come from the head bulge of course the practical thing okay so to be more specific in the head bulge i need to focus here so what happens no there will be a nasal pit okay guys kindly give your focus here this is very important the development of phase in the phase especially in the head bulge there is a small round pit called nasal pit guys okay nasal pit okay around this nasal pit there are two processes one is medial nasal process this one is medial nasal process this side in the lateral side we have this one okay this is called lateral nasal process around the nasal pit we have two process one is medial nasal process another one is lateral nasal process apart from that this one this end is called fronto nasal process guys okay this one is called fronto nasal process so already we have seen two process lateral nasal and medial nasal along with it fronto nasal is there apart from these three process we have two more one is maxillary process next one is mandibular process okay this one is maxillary this one is mandibular process guys so these five process number one two three four five these five process together helps in the development of face if they ask a question in your exams like development of face i need you guys to draw this diagram so first draw a nasal pit in the center from the nasal pit draw two things medial nasal process lateral nasal process then draw fronto nasal process just give an arrow mark like this and draw maxillary process and mandibular process these five process is going to give rise to a development of face okay basics done now so in your every book they used to give you a single diagram like this so let me explain what this diagram is actually okay so there will be a big fronto nasal process or fronto nasal eminence okay there we have discussed you know, a process called fronto nasal process so i am going to rename that it as fronto nasal eminence okay in this eminence i am going to draw a two thing like this okay this actually looks like a nose kind of thing guys right so in the nose mark irukiradha da medial nasal process okay medial nasal process next vandu varai poradhu or lateral nasal process na varai poran ipdi okay this is a lateral nasal process this is a lateral nasal process fronto nasal process persa varanjaachu uh, the pink color is medial nasal process and the blue color is lateral nasal process okay guys clear now i am going to draw another two things one is let me change the kind so this one this one is called maxillary process okay this one is called maxillary process and the below one is called mandibular process guys okay so na mele varanjirundha pathinga so in the diagram da id adutha development la cross section and the mele in the coronal section la paakrappa we have fronto nasal eminence irundhathu medial nasal irundhathu so idu da medial nasal and this one rendu kokki maar irukkaradhu lateral nasal this one is maxillary process and this one is mandibular process guys so these five process is going to give rise to the face now we are going to see the fronto nasal process forms what lateral nasal process forms what and medial nasal process forms what okay ovvo one enna na form panna nam paakala the fronto nasal eminence gives rise to the forehead okay so it's like nammude human face ipdi irukku nanichikittinga adha mari imagine pannunga so in the region ga da nammude netti forehead so the fronto nasal eminence gives rise to the forehead guys the lateral nasal process these two these two gives rise to the ala of nose okay. ala of the nose is formed by the lateral nasal process perle irukke lateral irukke ala anga the lateral irukke lateral nasal process forms the ala of the nose the medial nasal process forms the philtrum of the nose and the primitive palate note down guys primitive palate and the philtrum of the nose is formed by the medial nasal process okay very important and next pathinga maxillary process Uh, together with the medial and lateral okay yeah next step la maxillary yo medial lo lateral lo they both they all these three will combine and gives rise to 
cheek and upper lip guys okay cheek and upper lip is given rise by the fusion of maxillary lateral nasal and the medial nasal processes okay and finally the mandibular process gives rise to lower lip and the chin okay so this is the complete development of face that you need to know now we are going to discuss about the disease corresponding disease what happens if the medial nasal process fails to develop properly now they will give they will develop cleft palate so i told you know primitive palate is formed by the medial nasal process though they will develop cleft palate so if the lateral nasal process is problem means allow of nose will not be formed that is not most common so what happens if the fusion of maxillary process with lateral and medial nasal process fails so maxillary process medial and net lateral nasal process of fuse organ so no and the process when the ulinga nadakkalana that patient will develop cleft upper lip okay cleft upper lip irukum mandibular process ulinga develop agalana cleft lower lip okay cleft palate cleft upper lip cleft lower lip ve therinja podum 